Hi, this is John with Fix It Planet. And today we're going to change the screen out on this Galaxy J3. It's also known as the Express Prime. And this is a pretty straightforward, easy repair. I'm just going to take the back off and remove the battery. And we'll also be able to get access to the uh, display connector. Right up under here, this little plastic cap just pops off. And then we can use our spudger to disconnect the pop connector. So you can use a heat gun to heat up the display. We just put it on a hot plate, got it nice and warm. And uh, we're gonna use our metal tool to pry the screen off. And it's stuck down to the frame pretty well, so. So you may have to uh, use a little persuasion to get it to come off. You can just push the old cable through the hole there and start prying loose. Now some of that may want to stay stuck down to the frame. There is adhesive uh, that basically covers the entire display. But you want to start from the top of the phone and work your way down because there are some uh, capacitive uh, touch sensors for the left and right buttons on the bottom of the phone. So you want to be kind of careful there so that you don't damage those can see them right here and right here so in my case uh, some of the display actually stayed stuck down to the frame so we're just going to heat that up a little bit with a with a hot gun and scrape the rest of that out of there So once we've got the screen out of there, we're going to go ahead and scrape off and remove any uh, leftover adhesive, any little bits of dirt or debris or maybe bits of glass. And uh, some of this uh, leftover copper shielding. We're going to get all that out of there so the new screen will fit nice, nicely down inside the frame. So it is really important that you go around the edges uh, and thoroughly clean off any anything that might prevent the new screen from sitting down in the frame properly. Mostly you're going to find dirt and leftover adhesive. So we'll scrape the bulk of that out of there and then we'll uh, use some alcohol and a cleaning cloth to get the remaining residue. And over the speaker grill a little bit of dirt so we just use a little brush to clean that off some. 
and then we'll break out the cleaning cloth and some alcohol finish it up Now before we put the screen down permanent, we're going to go ahead and plug it in and give it a quick test. So we just want to make sure that the screen responds to our touch. There's not any dead spots in the digitizer and that the display doesn't have any lines or other anomalies. Once we're satisfied everything looks okay, we're going to go ahead and power it down. Then we'll remove the masking off of the back of the uh, display for the adhesive, which in this case is already on the screen. And we'll put it down permanent. So trying to put the button in the actual display didn't work out for me, so we just laid it down inside the frame. We're going to center the new screen uh, over that button there, and then uh, it'll be a little bit crooked at first, but as you start to seat the glass, you can, you can shift it around until it's straight. put our little plastic cap back over the pop connector and put our back on and then we can power it back on and make sure that everything is still looking good So everything looks pretty good on this one. Like I said, it's a pretty easy, straightforward repair. 
and uh, we hope this helps somebody out there and if you like we appreciate it if you like and subscribe share and all that good stuff thanks again bye bye now